Good morning, everybody. Taking Mari on a little walk this morning. Bryn's getting ready so she can go to church with my parents. No, I don't go to church. Um, that's about it. Well, she's at church. I'm going to edit a video so that I don't have to worry about doing it with her. And then maybe when she gets done, we'll go on a hike or go to the park or I don't know. We'll figure out something to do so my beard doesn't drive me crazy. I'm trying to keep it long and fuzzy because Lily likes it that way. So at least until I go down there. And I'm trying to conserve razor blades because those things are not cheap and I'll burn through one in a week easy if not two. So that's what we are doing today. What are you guys up to today? So I am going to use my new French press that I got for Christmas. I'm kind of excited, but I should have picked up coffee because Nana drinks half-calf coffee. So we'll see how this turns out. So we're going to get the water almost boiling, but not quite. And then we're going to dump it in there. And then we're going to let it sit for a while to brew the coffee. Not burn the coffee, but brew the coffee. And then we'll press it and drink it. So we let it sit for about four minutes. And then we press. Sometimes you stir it, sometimes you don't. I plunged it up and down a couple times. Help mix it up. Press it down to the bottom. And then pour it into our cup. You're going to hear from a lot of people that really know how to do it. Hopefully. Yeah, if you guys have input on how you French press stuff, please let me know. I would not be opposed to hearing it. Yum. And then I do mine with a little sweetener and some half and half, and that's my coffee. Yummy. Is dog going crazy again? <laughs> you are a funny dog. Where'd it go? Little spider yeah, on my any pants. I spiders in the house. I find them on the floor, in the bathroom, or in the bathtub. He just wants to watch YouTube videos. Where is it? Right there. Oh, it's one of those weird shaped ones. So I am dying for some firehouse right now, but there's no firehouse up here in Prescott. So I'm going to the sixth best thing, and we are going to Subway. I know. It's not any more healthy for you than fast food is, but a sub sounds good. And there's no other sub places up here that are worth a poo that are open on Sunday. And I don't feel like spending 15 bucks on a sub going somewhere else. Well, I guess we could go to Blimpy. Blimpy's tastes better. I mean, it's the same quality, but... I don't have any coupons for Blimpy, and I have a coupon for Subway that gets us buy one, get one free. So, Subway it is. So, we decided to grab some lunch and hike Thumb Butte. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go hike Thumb Butte. So pretty, it's a little muddy, but that's okay. Mari doesn't mind. Well, she picks the less muddy spot, but. Yeah. Do, do, do. Oh, we're almost to our spot. We are? Yeah, that's right up here on the left. Left. Here it is. So we are going to take a break and eat some breakfast slash lunch slash afternoon snack. So I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's a couple deer over there. We just scared them up and they ran down and then up the other side. I think they're in that shot. Yep, there's two of them over there. Hopefully it's in that shot. Shh, no, you can't go chase them. Almost up to the tippy tippy top. So those deer were right over here somewhere. I was hoping I'd come up and they'd be scared up the hill and run right up into us. Give them some Subway sandwich. But no luck. That's what I do. I always get across the top of the mountain and make a phone call. Lovely Prescott. 
I know you guys have seen this view before, but I figured I'd show you again. Deer down there somewhere. What? Not right here, you're not. Come on. There's the zombie house. Zombie house. With that huge chimney? It's not a chimney, it's a tower. Well, that's the house. You see the square part? The parts that stick out? Yeah. That's the house. Below that, there's not really a whole lot. It's just a big, tall tower. Sorry if it's windy, but it's a little breezy up here. Be a good test for this camera. I haven't had it out in the wind yet. Hello. Chilly, chilly wind. She's a goofball. Goofball dog. Normally I would try and have Mari off leash, but she's not listening very well right now, so we're teaching her how to be on leash. That way she can value being off leash. Bryn's trying to fall on her face. And that up there is the tippy top where we were. Well, not the, not the summit of the mountain tippy top, but the summit of the hiking trail. We weren't gonna go. We weren't gonna go climbing up to big rocks today. They know we saw deer, you dork. I recorded it. So we're walking down this other side right now, or the other side. We're walking down the same side that we we're already on. So we're walking back down now. Ow, and I'm getting <laughs> sticking my hand into bushes because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> and I just wanted to show you guys this view as we come around down around this bend here. Over there, off to the northwest is Granite Mountain. Someday we'll have to go hike it. And on the very left hand side you can see that rock face, that big rock face over there. What? That's where the peregrine falcons nest in the springtime. Where? So yeah, here in Prescott, we have falcons. Do you guys have falcons? Most people don't. They are super cool and they are huge. They're out by Granite Basin Lake. So if you want to look at them, you can Google, I don't know, peregrine falcon nesting on Granite Mountain by Granite Basin Lake or any combination of those and it should bring some up. There's always bird watchers out there filming them in the springtime. That whole mountain burnt down on the backside, but I don't think it came to that front side. So that's good. There's our little spot. Yep, there's the little spot. I don't know if you guys can see Marv is tearing off through the trees. Hey! <whistles> Limits! <whistles> Come on! Come on! Come here! Mari! Mari! Thank you. So, where there is a will for life, there is a way. Check out this little cactus. Who made a home? in a rock. <laughs> Thriving on a rock. Oh, and there's a Bren. The rare scene Bren. Stay. Got it. All these girls that run up the steep side. You guys are crazy. All these runners running up the steep side and down the easy side. They're nuts. I only say that because I can't run. My knees and my back won't let me. Mostly my back. I try, I've tried it a couple times and then I get into it a little bit and then one wrong step, just one little wrong step, don't even feel it. And then the next day, can't get out of bed for a week. So it's easier not to run. Unfortunately, I really like the endorphin high of running. You get the same endorphin high from riding a mountain bike, but it takes a lot more exertion. Bryn's pretending she's on her mountain bike. Uh, no, you didn't. Mari's over there. You're still back here. She beat you. I touched it. I touched it. She wasn't trying to touch it. She thought you were racing through the gate. Mari wins. Go figure. The dog's a little bit faster. Hey, Mari! Right oh my God! Get her, Mari! Go! Run!
Well, we made it down and now we're on our way back to Nana's house and gonna see if I can find a science project for Bryn. What did you guys do today on this eventful Sunday or on this eventful Tuesday, whichever day it is, because what did you do on Sunday? Because that's the day today we filmed it. And what did you do on Tuesday, which is today, the day that you are watching it, possibly, hopefully. And if you're not catching it daily, make sure you subscribe down below so you can catch everything from us and give us a thumbs up for hiking all the way up to the tippy top of that mountain and back down it was a good time we'll do it again sometime soon Stay right there. Did you get some salad? No. There's salad in there. I've just been eating these little tasty chicken thingies. Okay. Compressed chicken. Mm. You're not begging, right? Okay. Good. I didn't put it in the bag because I thought you'd want it. Mmm.